Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about the muscle fatigue. When we do exercise, a lot of muscular exercise, at that time, in a few minutes gap, our muscles feel pain. This pain is because our muscle gets tired because of this exercise. The reduction in the force of contraction, you want to uh, do exercise, you want to hand up, hand down position, but still your muscles are not supporting you. These muscles are not supporting you, that means they are, there is a reduction in force of contraction of a muscle after prolonged stimulation. Prolonged stimulation means you are wanting to do exercise, you are stimulating again and again your limbs to work, but they are not in a condition to apply a force of condition. This stage is called as muscle fatigue or muscle tiredness. Now let's learn more about it. This muscle fatigue is mainly because of the accumulation of lactic acid in our muscles. Now how this lactic acid is actually accumulates in our body, let's learn. Long term muscle contraction when you are doing a exercise or you are doing an activity which needs a continuous work of muscle or continuous contraction of muscle then your muscles need a great supply of oxygen and ATP. This process of requirement covered by this ATP and energy is actually done by the aerobic respiration. What is this aerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration is the process in which your cells provides energy in the presence of oxygen. Actually what happens when your muscles need energy for the contraction at the time the glucose of your muscle converts into pyruvic acid through a process called as glycolysis. When the pyruvic acid is formed it produces 2 ATP and this pyruvic acid enters into the mitochondria. And to Krebs cycle and electron transport chain, it produces 36 ATP, the energy in the addition of carbon dioxide and H2O. Now, how our body produces this oxygen and this ATP? It is by the continuous, continuous function of our heart and our lungs. But when you do the exercise continuously, then still your heart and your lungs are breathing or doing their work very fastly but still when they are not able to supply sufficient amount of oxygen and energy to the muscle then what happens then this aerobic condition changes to anaerobic condition anaerobic respiration what is this anaerobic respiration it is the process in which body or cells produces the energy but in the absence of oxygen. Oxygen is not present in this condition. When oxygen in is not present that what happens glucose again breaks in the presence in the absence of oxygen and produces pyruvate. This pyruvate converts into lactate and this lactate finally converts into lactic acid which accumulates in our muscle. This lactic acid makes our muscle makes the pH of our muscle high making the muscle more acidic that is how the pain and fatigue in our muscle occurs. Now this fatigue is the only one which makes our muscle feeling cramps. Now we have learned that how this lactic acid is accumulates in our muscle and how they make us feel pain or fatigue. Now next very important term is the oxygen depth. Now when glucose in con is converted by glycolysis into lactic acid. Now after a full exercise when a athlete relaxes or when a person relaxes but still your heart your lung breathes very fast. They breathe very fast to accomplish the negative uh, charge of the oxygen in our body. When they again provide the oxygen in the sufficient amount, then this lactic acid can oxidize into the carbon dioxide and H2O and your muscles comes into a normal muscle condition. So in this video we have learned about the muscle fatigue 
and oxygen depth and why our muscle feel pain when we do a lot of exercise i hope you understand the concept thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning